Hello and welcome to another EE140 tutorial video. In today's problem, we are tasked to find magnetic flux density B as a function of R in all regions. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's given in this problem. So we have a cable made of two concentric cylinders with infinite length. So that's infinite length that's a good indicator that we'll be using Ampere's law and the inner cable has current coming out of the page so let's draw that here with a current or with a non-uniform density 4R now the outer shell carries a uniform current density of 3 and it's coming into the page. So let's go ahead and write our formula. It's going to be close integral. B dot DL equals U naught I inside with U naught being B space permeability and I inside is just integral of J dot DA. So what Ampere's law is trying to tell us is that the magnetic flux density is directly proportional to the total current that's passing through the loop in that integral. So now we could proceed to the first cylinder and that's R is less than A which is going to be B times the length of the loop equals integral mu naught current density times the area of the element ring it's 2 pi r dr next we could pull out the constants out of the integral And the limit of integration is going to be 0 to r since r is less than a get 8 mu naught r cube over 3 that's evaluated 0 to r Now I recommend we keep this because we're going to use it in the next step. So we just divide what we got by the length of the loop to isolate B. We get four thirds mu naught r squared. So don't forget this is going to be in cylindrical coordinates. And that's it for the first cylinder. Now, before we move on to the next one, let us remember that the outer shell, which we're going to do next, has a uniform current density of 3. So uniform current density, that means we don't have to integrate, but we'll do so anyway. It's a good practice. Anyways, if you integrate or not, 
you will still get the same result. And also that the outer shell has a current density that's the opposite direction of the inner cylinder. So that means that we have to subtract them. So to see that, let's go ahead and scroll down. So from region A is less than R is less than B. So again, we'll have D times the length of the loop. Now remember the result that we kept from the first region. We're just going to write it down, except this time the R cube is going to be A cube. And then we minus it to integral. The limit here, if you ever you're going to do the integral, it's going to be a to r. Okay. Mu naught three. That's the current density. Then the area of the element circle. Element ring. 2 pi r dr. With that, we get 8 mu naught pi a cube over 3. Don't forget to change the r from the previous one to a cube minus 6 mu naught pi r squared minus a squared over 2. Let's put it down. Now obtaining this one, I recommend we keep it again. So we're going to use it on the final region for this problem. And we just divide what we got by 2r or 2 pi r. Minus 6 mu naught it's up to you if you could leave it as it is but don't forget this is cylindrical coordinate you could factor out some variables and constants so let's go ahead cancel the pies then pull out mu naught pull out 2r are left with don't have the mu knots anymore 8 a cube over 3 minus 3 r squared plus 3 a cube or squared sorry this is cylindrical coordinates again Finally, for the last region, and that is C greater than R greater than B. I know there's no C given, but let's look at the diagram again. We're looking for this thin ring over here. So consider it this C and this is B, and we're looking for this tiny, tiny, tiny. tiny radius. So for that, 
again to the last time it's 2 pi r length of the loop equals so what we see from step 2 so a u naught pi a q over 3 minus 6 u naught pi r squared oh now remember the r squared here is now going to be b squared minus a squared over 2 then we divide it by 2 pi r and then pull out some stuff so we could pull out the mu naughts and we could pull out the two nr's so first we cancel the pi's and then pull out two r's so we're left with eight a cubed over 3 minus 3 b squared plus 3 a squared and again this is cylindrical coordinates that's it let's go ahead and finalize our upper box on our answers so that's for the region C is greater than R, greater than B. And over here, R is in between A and B, we have this. And for the first one, for R less than A, we have this one. So there you have it. I hope I made this problem clear to you. If not, I apologize. But you could always ask your TA or ask the professor. Thank you for watching and have a great day.